Hey guys, taking a break from studying? Well good, because watching me is never bad. Don't worry guys, it will soon pass. Testing isn't hard. I mean, it's hard. But it's not difficult. I mean, it can be. And also stressful, hurtful, and just terrible. God, I remember how crappy testing was. Jeez. Sucks to be you guys. I'm sorry. But hey, continue watching me. Because let's face it, you love me. Let's get this video on a roll. Woo! Okay, so you know I would never lie to you guys, right? I'm a child of God. <laughs> so you should all be familiar with the fact that I have a Tinder. No? Well, in that case, if you didn't know, yeah, I have a Tinder. And it's actually not that bad. It's not embarrassing. It's actually a great way to find relationships and friendships and any other type of ships. And arguing with people if pineapples belong on a pizza. Because they do. But Tinder does bring amazing content. And oh boy, do I have a story for you. So just in case you don't know what a Tinder is, let me explain real quick. You see a bunch of different profiles on your phone. And you either have the option of swiping left or right. If you think the person's ugly, you swipe left. If you think the person's hot, you swipe right. The app is solely meant for hookups. I myself never hooked up with anyone on this app, which is fine. I'm happy with the couple of people I matched with. I honestly made a really cool relationship out of it. Okay, so one day I was on Tinder, swiping away, and then I came across a girl. How typical, right? She was a little cute, funny bio. So I said, okay, let's see what happens. And oh boy, I'm glad I swiped right. The very next day we matched. So I said, hello. She said, hey, we started talking because that's how a conversation works. She then asked me for my snap. All of this was going really fast. And then last Saturday night, she texted to ask if she wanted me to come to this hangout. So of course I said, why not? I drove there, the place was bumping. There was loud music, groupies, drugs, drinking, makeout, sex, you know, your typical college party. And because I'm a child of God, I didn't do any of those things. None, None of, of it. it. No, honestly, I didn't drink because I was driving. So I'm drinking a 40, and I see my friends come up. They're having a great, wonderful time. I'm already yelling. The girl from Tinder comes up to me. Hey, you made it! I said, yeah, of course I did. I go inside of this house, and I'm already feeling bad for this kid's parents. The living room floor is already covered in the liquid substance of vodka, puke, and water. This guy's wearing curtains because he can't find his pants. The whole entire house was like a legit hot box. Marijuana somehow got invited to this party. The bonfire in the back is about to burn down the house. There was legit an orgy happening in the dining room. Jews were there. It, 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 it was crazy. So the girl from Tinder is asking me to come into the kitchen. She makes me a glass of water and then asks me to sit on the couch. I agree. This is where it starts to get weird. Me and her are sitting on the couch. She's playing with my hair, touching my thighs, whispering in my ear. Are you that YouTube guy? I nod and said, You want me to film you? You know, porn. She agreed. Then she asks, How good are you with a camera? I said, Well, look got steady hands. Then she fake giggles. <laughs> And then she gets up and leaves. I got my water in my hand, my pants are unzipped. Three dudes are watching me for some reason. As I'm sitting in confusion, a guy shows up with her. She says, hey, YouTube guy, this is Chuck. Chuck says, what's up? I wave. Chuck says, how steady are your hands? I say, uh, like a doctor? I'm extremely confused at this point. Maybe it was because of the fact that Chuck was shirtless, or maybe it was because the three dudes started making out with each other. Of course, I do the reasonable thing and ask, uh, why is Chuck's shirt off? Tinder girl says, Oh, because we're going to film. I don't do three ways. I don't got a condom. I get up, zip my pants, and leave. Tinder girl follows me. I do the Heisman pose. I accidentally sucker punch Tinder girl in the face. Of course I apologize. But of course Big Chuck witnesses my amazing punch. So he punches me in the face. I'm knocked out now. I thought I died because I saw Jesus. He asks me, was I a child of God? Of course I said yes. And then I woke up out of nowhere. I'm on my bed. And then as I'm laying on my bed, I realized all of that was just a dream. Yeah, right? How crazy was that? I bet you were not expecting that twist. Maybe you kind of saw the coming when I said I died, though. Me and Tinder Girl did match, though, but I never texted her because I didn't want Big Chuck to sucker punch me in the face again. So, huh, huh, that was my crazy Tinder story. Were you guys entertained? Are you not entertained? And if you guys were, smash!
smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to see more of my videos. I post three times a week and it's all up to you to find out which days those are. Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday or maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hey, let's get a little crazy. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Who knows? But I do know is you will follow me at all these social medias and today's shout out goes to Morgan. There you go, buddy. Make sure you guys share this video with your friends, but not with your grandma. And I hope you guys have a great, awesome, loving day. Now, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.